Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be unboxing the Zotac Gaming 3060 Ti graphics card. This graphics card is based on the NVIDIA MP architecture. It's got support for ray tracing and DLSS. All right, so this is the outside of the box. It's nicely designed. Um, twin edge overclock edition. In the side, you have uh, this nice Zotac logo. And in the back of the box, you have details on um, the features of the graphics card. Here we have um, Ice Storm to advance GPU cooling, um, freeze fan stop when GPU is idle, and Firestorm GPU tuning and monitoring software. This is the back of the graphics card. This is how it looks like, and the front with two fans. Suppose DirectX 12. And these are the ton of features that this great GPU supports. Alright, so now let's go ahead and unbox this GPU. Alright, so here we have a nice rainbow looking Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and open what's inside. get amplified and in the back there's some various um, series of GPUs I believe and here is a logo that you stick on your computer case quick install guide and please make sure that you have the latest drivers installed and this is the GPU I'm super excited to open and see how it looks Alright, so this GPU looks really small. It's got a ton of power in this small package. There's just two nice fans and in the back you have a metal backplate. And in the side of the GPU you have this cutout that allows uh, heat to escape. GeForce RTX, Zotac Gaming Lighting. And here you have this 8-pin uh, power input. These are the two fans, Zotac and Zotac Logo. These are the four outputs that it supports. It supports three display and one HDMI. All right, so now it's the most exciting part. I'm gonna install this GPU into my computer. I'm gonna release the GPU lock there, and I'm gonna slowly insert the GPU into its PCI slot. Next, I'm going to secure the graphics card to the computer case. And finally, I'm going to install the 8-pin PCI power cable. All right, so now the GPU is properly installed. I'm going to turn it on, and you can see Zotac Gaming light turns on. So this is Zotac Firestorm. I'm going to go to clocks to show you guys what the clock speeds are. These are all at its default values. Next, I'm going to run uh, benchmarking on the graphics card. Uh, these tests takes a long time. I'm not going to show you guys all the tests. All right, so the benchmarking is done and now I'm going to show you uh, the results. An average 3060 Ti scores 19,661 points and my 3060 Ti Zotac has scored 22,102. So the current graphics card has scored better than an average 3060 Ti graphics card that is out there. Alright guys, so this comes to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thanks.